Hi guys, it's Sadie here, and today I'm back with another speed paint on my computer. Um, I think I said this in my last video, but I'm really getting into doodle art lately, so I've been doing quite a bit of it. Um, but yeah, here I'm doing uh, all three of my characters that go together in a story. Um, so they're all demons. I don't really have much of a story for them. They're just kind of characters to draw, I guess. Like, fun characters to draw. I should make up a story, but all I have is that they're demons. They have some demon-y powers, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, as you can see, the first character here that's blonde, um, his name is Riker, and I had a really hard time with his face, and I still don't like his face, but, oh well, um, I guess I'm kind of stuck with it. Uh, I just could not get it right. I redrew it, like, a couple times, like, five times. I just kept erasing and redrawing and stuff. Um, but yeah, he has, um, hallucination powers, so, uh, he can kind of, not really hallucinate, I called it hallucination, but it's kind of like illusions, so he can make people kind of see stuff that isn't actually there, or whatever. And the second character here, um, that I'm working on right now, his name is Zenin, so, um, He is a corruption demon, and so he can kind of dissolve things or break apart things. Kind of, you know, corrupt things and stuff. Um, and the last one, as you've seen in my last speed paint, um, his name is Dexter. Uh, and he can liquefy objects. Not people, though. That's why I say objects. You can... Not living things. Um... But yeah, those are my three characters. Um... I tried to give them, like, different designs. Like, Riker here, he has pointy ears and a tail. But that's really it. And, um... Zenin doesn't... He kind of looks like a normal person, except he has all those red markings. And, um... Dexter, of course, has horns, but I wanted to make them all look kind of different. Um, I wanted to give them bright colors, but I kind of failed with Zenin, so, oh well. Um, yeah, that's why I added that pop of red, just to try to brighten things up more. Um, yeah, uh, I also have changed my shading style. I usually just do shell shell cell shading but put it on um multiply so it's all like one color um and usually i use like purple or whatever but this time lately i've just been using like the watercolor brush and just taking like darker shades of the color and i just really like it so i'll probably stick with that way unless i am well usually in animations i don't shade them but Maybe I will in the future. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Another thing that took me a long time was deciding what I wanted for the background. I spent a really long time just doing different backgrounds and stuff. And I actually ended up making two different versions with two different backgrounds. Because I couldn't decide which way I wanted. Another cool thing that I just figured out how to use was, um. Uh, the clipping. I, I've heard artists say that they used it, but I never really tried it out. But, yeah, I tested it out. Not in the speed paint, but at another time. And it is really good for coloring line art and stuff. So, I discovered that finally. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of over my time limit here. So, see you guys in my next video. And, bye!